Hey everyone, it's Lara from OurOilyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious peanut butter chocolate avocado pudding. This is a very simple recipe where you're basically just going to throw a few ingredients into a blender or you can use a food processor, whatever one you have. For this recipe, we are first gonna take two avocados. Now you want your avocados to be ripe, but not extremely ripe, because the more ripe they are, the more you're going to taste the avocado. And kind of the point here is to have a very mild avocado taste, because whenever avocados are just ripe, they almost have a bland, kind of buttery taste to them. So we're just going to cut our avocados in half, pit them, and we are going to add them into a food processor or blender. Okay, now we're going to add in a half a cup of peanut butter one fourth cup of coconut milk and you can use regular milk or almond milk depending on if you want it to be dairy free or not or your milk preference fourth of a cup of cocoa powder and a fourth of a cup of honey then we're going to add in one ripe banana And we're just going to blend this up. Okay, when all the ingredients are well combined, this is going to make a very creamy pudding texture. And you can eat this stuff plain or you can use this as a healthy frosting for a cake. I told you here on the channel before that we mainly stick to a paleo diet over here as a family. And so on birthdays, I like to make a paleo cake. Usually I just make my paleo brownies that I shared here last week. I'll link that up in the cards and in the description below. And then I will make some form of avocado pudding to use as a frosting on top. And it's absolutely delicious. Now I always have people asking me, what is that? And I kind of hesitate to tell them because it is avocado pudding and that sounds not the best, especially when you're eating it on top of birthday cake. And so I first have to be like, oh, well, do you like it? And once they tell me that they love it and they want to know what it is, then I tell them. And usually people are pretty shocked to find out that this main base to this is avocados. Over on the blog, I also shared a few other variations of this recipe where you can make it just plain chocolate, which is one of my favorites. You can add in some peppermint essential oil to make a mint chocolate pudding. You can make this with wild orange essential oil to make some orange chocolate flavored pudding. I also have a vanilla and key lime pie recipe over there as well. So if you are interested in getting all the different variations of this recipe, be sure to head over to the blog. And if you enjoyed this video, I also have a ebook all about cooking with essential oils, which I will link that in the description below. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home health and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house. Mm -hmm.